Good morning. This week we're still talking about recycling. This story is called Sam Helps Recycle. Can you tell who Sam is? Sam is a dog. Let's see how he helps. Hi, my name is Sam. I'm helping Maya and her mom recycle our trash. I hear Maya calling me now. Gotta go. Some of our trash goes into garbage cans. The rest goes into recycling bins. Maya has a big stack of newspaper ready. Wait a minute, I have to get that newspaper I hid behind the bushes. I'll add it to the stack. Can cans and glass bottles are next. We put them in a separate bin. Hey, are they throwing away my dog food? No, it's okay. These cans are already empty. Plastic goes into the last bin. I run to get a bottle I left in the yard. I don't want a litter. When I come back, I get a surprise. My food bowl is in the recycling bin. Why are they throwing my food bowl away? <gasps> Can you see why? They're recycling his bowl because it's broken. Before I can save my bowl, Maya calls me to get into the car. She says we're going to the recycling center. We're also bringing old batteries and unused paint. It is not safe to keep them around. In some towns, sanitation workers pick up the trash on one day and recycling bins on another day. Where we live, we do our recycling ourselves. Maya's mom starts the car. Here we go. Maya's mom says that each person it says that each person in the United States produces more than four pounds of garbage a day. That's enough to make more than 60,000 truckloads of trash. I wonder where does all the trash go? I soon find out we drive by a huge landfill. My nose can smell it a mile away. Maya's mom tells us that a landfill is a deep hole dug into the ground. It has a lining of clay and plastic at the bottom. The lining keeps the rotting garbage from leaking into the groundwater. There are big bulldozers pushing huge piles of garbage that have been dumped at the landfill. The trucks pack it down with their wide tires. I've heard Maya say that there's just too much trash to put in the landfill. That's why we have to recycle paper, plastic, cans, and bottles. All these things can be reused and turned into new things. I'm glad that we are at the recycling center, but I'm still worried about my food bowl. I watch while some people put their newspapers into a big container, then Maya and her mom dump their newspapers. My paper goes in too. A sanitation worker comes over to pet me. He tells Maya that, re Maya that recycling paper saves lots of trees and lots of energy too. He explains that our recycled paper gets packed into big bales that go to a pipe paper recycling factory. At the factory, the old paper is turned into pulp. Then it goes through a machine that turns out miles of new paper every day. Next, Maya's mom adds our bottles and cans to a big pile. A front end loader, loader scoops them up and dumps them into the back of a truck. It makes a horrible racket. I wish I could cover my ears. The worker says that the bottles and cans will go into a sorting facility that separates the glass in the middle. Then they go to separate factories to be recycled. At one factory, the glass bottles are crushed and melted into liquid. Then the liquid glass is poured into molds to make new bottles and other products. The cans are taken to a different place. Before they leave the sorting center, though, they are crushed together into bales. Then they are taken to a factory that recycles metal. Recycled cans are made into new cans that can be recycled all over again. Maya's mom unloads the plastic last. I see my food bowl sitting on the top of the pile. The worker tells us the plastic bottles take up a lot of space. In some landfills, they never decompose or wash, waste away. That's why it's really important to recycle plastic. He says that the plastic is sent from the recycling center to a factory. First, the plastic is cleaned, then it is chopped up into little pieces. Finally, it's metal melted down and made into new plastic products. On our way home, I worry about my bowl, but I still feel good about recycling. When I get into the house, I get a great surprise. Maya shows me that my new red Maya shows me my new red bowl. She points out the recycling symbol on the side. 
as she fills it up with food. While I am eating, Maya and her mom talk about other recycled products. Maya's notebook comes from recycled paper. Some clothes are made from recycled plastic. Even some playground surfaces are made from old tennis shoes and rubber tires. After I finish my food, I head straight to my doggy bed for a nap. Recycling is a lot of work, but it's worth it. Do you recycle at home? Tell a grown-up something that you're using that could be recycled. Have a great day.